Hi, Irene. Hello, Marco. As we know, the securitization regulation applied from the 1st of January 2019. So where does the ABS market stand for issuers now? What do issuers need to do to bring a deal to the market? I did. The date of application of the securitization regulation was of 1st of January 2019. Uh, according to the Article 7, the originators, sponsors and securitization special purpose entities uh, need to disclose information on all new securitizations. Uh, however, there are some parts of the secondary legislation which are not finalized yet, such as the disclosure requirements and the securitization repository application. Uh, nevertheless, there are transitional provisions in place uh, in order for the reporting entities to fulfill their regulatory requirements. How can issuers report during the transitional period? Uh, during this period, the reporting entities uh, must disclose information using the CRA3 templates, which are uh, not very different from the mandatory fields of the European Central Bank ABS loan level data templates. Uh, which the, most of the issues have been using for the past five years and they're very familiar with. Uh, they must disclose this information along with additional documentation uh, on a website that meets certain criteria, among others a well-functioning data quality control system. And European Data Warehouse can fulfill these requirements? Well, the European Data Warehouse meets all the criteria that are set out in the Article 7, Paragraph 2 of the Securitization Regulation. And in fact, issuers are already using our, our website application editor in order to comply with the new securitization regulation. What will happen next? We expect the um, draft technical standards that are proposed by ESMA to be adopted by the European Commission, then uh, to be endorsed by the European Parliament and Council. Uh, after that, they will be published in the official journal um, and uh, 20 days later they will enter into force and uh, we expect this to happen at some point in Q4 2019. And after that? After that, we expect the technical standards on the securitization repository application to follow the same uh, political decision-making process and once these uh, RTS are published in the official journal, European Data Warehouse will apply to become a securitization repository. Uh, European Data Warehouse has been working the past year to prepare and build the systems based on the draft uh, technical standards in order to be ready to apply as soon as possible. What else will the future bring for the regulation? The European Central Bank uh, published a press release in March 2019 uh, whereby uh, it announced that the uh, Eurosystem eligibility criteria will um, uh, be adjusted to reflect the disclosure requirements under the Securitization Regulation. Uh, this change uh, is dependent on two conditions being met. Uh, first, that uh, the reporting templates must have entered into force and second, at least one Securitization Repository must be registered with ESMA. Once these two conditions are met, then within three months period, the new eligibility criteria will apply. For securitizations that are issued prior to the 1st of January 2019, a grandfathering period of three years will apply and then they will have to adopt the new uh, reporting template. Will there be more developments in the future? Of course, and we will keep our clients up to date. We organize regular webinars and workshops around Europe, and we will keep our clients informed about the latest regulatory developments. Of course, our clients should feel free to contact us either by email or uh, give us a call. Thank you very much, Irene. Thank you, Marco.